What's up everybody? Josh here and welcome back to the channel. And today's video is an exciting one because I finally, well this came in a few days ago. Well last week, my bad. This came in last week but I had something else come in and I'm going to talk about that. But it is time to unbox Mega Godzilla. Now I got this from Big Bad Toy Store. I am not sponsored, so just to let y'all know. But yeah, I got this from from there. But there is a catch. And I'm going to slide this out of the way for a second. Well, slightly out of my way. Um, this is the catch, and I'm going and I want everybody to listen because I don't want this happening to all of y'all that are watching. When Mega Godzilla, when I went to pre-order this. Um, the store, the Big Bad Toy Store site was sold out. I could not pre-order, so I went and did um, something I should not have, and that is going to a different store looking to pre-order it. Now, I do, I do have the item from there, so that does show that I went and they finally had it, and so I pre-ordered it. But this is the catch: I went on to this other site. I put in, I told me I had to sign in, do all this other stuff for me to order from their store. I did that. Find out. They told me, I, the site told me that I, this item is now available for me to pre-order. And I was kind of upset. I thought maybe I did something wrong. So I had my mom come over and help me do it. Help me restart, redo it to make sure that I didn't mess something up. She helped me, and the thing is, it still said the same thing. This item is not, um, this item is not available for you to pre-order. And it was like telling, uh, telling me and her that um, the thing, it's like they have it, but they cannot sell it to me because I needed to sign all this stuff. And when I was doing it, and then I, we kept doing it, and we both got fed up with it, so we waited until Big Bad Toy Store was back in stock. Now, this is the kicker. And this is why I'm saying this is because I don't want y'all doing this by accident like me because the figure actually came in after they after I got noticed why, why they were telling me on the site that I'm not able to get it. And this was actually something as a, a little problem, but I look at it like this. It's done. It's over with. I have an extra one for a backup if something's wrong with this one. So I got to wait to a pair. As I've had a few friends of mine say that when they got theirs, a piece was broke or it was something wrong with it. So I don't know. This could have been a good thing. This could have been a bad thing. I look at it like I got backup for just in case. But I am going to unbox both of them. But that, that is just the lesson I want to say before I unbox them. Because I know that when you can't find something at one place, it's easy to go somewhere else and do a whole lot for that for you to get the item. And sometimes it's not worth it. That is just something that I wanted to say because this was by accident. Right here. So... Let's go on and start the video. I'm sorry that I've um, waste. I uh, hopefully I did not waste y'all's time. I hope if, if uh, I'm a little tongue tied to the, having been on camera in a while, so it's kind of a little bit excited and a little bit um nervous because I'm trying not to mess up for y'all. But yeah, the, um, let's go on and unbox these, shall we? Get our little Zacto knife. I like how they did this. It's like right here. Now I did open this upside down because it's showing the the back of the box. But I do like how they got the bubble wrap wrapped around it though. So that is a nice touch. Come on. Come on now. Alright. 
You would think for a big size box like this, it would have been like a couple something else in here, but that just shows you how big this box is. So I'm just going to place that down there. Ooh, that that's just nice right there. I kind of like that. The picture right here. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have been showing you all that. Move the bubble wrap. So we got this one from Big Bad Toy Store. Side, Mecha Godzilla, and the title of the movie in the year. Back, different poses that you can get them in. Got the logo for Monarch and the movie title. I thought, yep, movie title in the year. And at the bottom, we got some legal Momo Jumbo. And on top, we got the logo, the name of the movie. All right, so I'm going to bring it. I'm going to push that over to the side. Going to open this one up so I can get rid of the box. But yeah, I hope everybody's having themselves a good day or night, whatever time you are watching this. And if you are enjoying the video, don't. Um, if you don't mind hitting that like button, I really appreciate it because it, it would help the, the video, the channel out a lot. Okay, so they did a little bit different. They actually got the bubble wrap in some type of little paper. Now let's let's make sure something real quick. So this one does have the sticker right here showing that this is from Monster Arts. It's not bootleg. And this. Huh. Bang didn't want to let go. I'm about to say, I don't need to be bubbled wrapped up. I don't think I do anyways. <laughs> All right. Hopefully I did not damage the, the whole thing. I don't think I did with all this bubble wrap that got tied around it. Alright, for me to tell the difference, I am going to keep the paper to this side on the box. I wonder, should I go and just um, pop all these right at once, or should I just throw this away? I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to pop it right now. I got you a little worried, didn't I? It would have been a lot of loud noises and popping going off. <laughs> all right, I'm just playing. I'm just, ha I'm just in a good mood right now. That's all. All right. So we're going to push that one to the side right now and pull back the first one. So where I normally do, I don't open from the top because just where I can put do, um, where I can have the boxes set on this shelf, the top ain't open. So I like to cut from the, I like to open it from the bottom. But before I open this, I do have the other two boxes with Kong. And Godzilla. If I can get this set up right, let's see if it may if it does a neat picture. So I know when you take these two right here and put together, it, it lines up. Now will it line up with Mecha Godzilla's box? If I can lock, get everything lined up, move the camera. I'm sorry, I got the camera on a tripod right now, so yeah, it actually does line up. That is actually cool. You can see where the the cloud or the smoke or the flames coming off of Kong's box lining up with this one coming around and actually lines up with Godzilla's box. That is actually kind of cool right there. 
Because I kind of think these the boxes wasn't go this box was not going to line up with these two. I guess I could just done this and just lock the the tripod down. Move the camera. I'm sorry, everybody. You can bear with me for a second. There we go. Got the nice picture right there. We got Kong, Godzilla, and Mecha Godzilla. And the boxes does line up, like I said, so that is actually kind of cool. Now, it would have been something if, um, if you would have to take in the boxes and like kind of have to put them on top like this. To have them and then have the main, the villain monster at the bottom. But I do like it like this so you can have it on the shelf. Even if Kong's box is actually the smallest. Now, now if you look at the sizes, we see Kong's box is this size. Godzilla's box is this size. Yes, I know there is a little bit of tear. My kit, my cat kitty got into it. If you seen my older videos, you would have um, seen her. So yeah, she did get a hold of that. So I was a little upset, but it's okay. And then you see the, how big this box is. This is actually bigger than Godzilla's box. If I can get it. There we go. You can see the big gap right there. And it's on the sides too. So that's kind of neat showing the size of Mega Godzilla. So we got a small box, medium box, and then a large box. So I'm done playing. I'm done playing around. Let's get this bad boy open. Gonna set these down right here. Try not to fold those too much so they will fold back in. Is there anything special in this box? No, it is not. I know the Kong box has a little um, flat, a little um, paper piece in the back of it. So we're going to move that out the way. Oh, the instructions can't lose that. That's for their hands, I believe. Let's see here. Yep, it's for doing the hands. From a close hand to open hand, and showing us how to do the thing. And we'll get more into that with the review video that will be coming up right after this. But right now we're just unboxing, so we're just taking the figure out of the box. came off as y'all can see right if I can get it the point at it right here the right no yeah the right hand top part actually came off it's right here above the foot is it taped nope there we go set that to the side yeah, see what I mean? It was right here, and the other hands are over here. So, that's kind of, hopefully that's not broke. Hopefully. I know one thing, this got a little bit of weight to it, but I know they said um, this figure was going to have metal parts in it. Ooh, that look. That, that little look when I pulled it out of the box right there kind of um, kind of made me nervous for a second there. See if I can't get the hand back on. Hmm. Okay, why are you not going back on? Is there a secret way you guys 
Oh, there we go. It snapped back in. That would have been kind of cool if the, uh, the hands actually opened up and everything from the thing by itself. But that is, kind of, that is really cool right there. And the eyes are uh, a reflected um, paint, it looks like. Gonna move that over. Oh, what am I doing? Gotta move the thing over some. Huh. Having it in hand is a lot better than seeing on video. As on, on other stuff that I've seen, it showed that the the spines didn't have red on them. Unless it was just the camera looks as I bet right now holding this, y'all probably can't see the red. Or y'all probably can if I move it closer. But we'll we'll get more into that when we get into the review video, like I said. Right now we were just unboxing and looking at the beauty of Mecha Godzilla. 2021. Giving y'all that little bit of 360 before I put it on the um, the the table, not this table, but the spinning table. Joints are really tight. I know that. Okay, I'm struggling. I feel like I'm shaking the table just to move its arm. So I will have to look into a lot of this when we do the review figure, the review of them. I know that I'm probably looking kind of silly following this tail around, but that that is actually really cool right there. All right, I'm going to go on in the video here so we can go on and get to the other stuff. I'm just, I'm just amazed by the detail and everything to this. But we'll get into that with the review video. I'm so sorry I keep saying that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go and call it here. And I will see y'all in a little bit.